Hello, everyone. Good afternoon, good afternoon. Thank you so much, Molly. All right, so I know most of the faces that are in this room and many of you have actually participated in the out of school experience and hosting them for our students, which is really great. So I have the great task of working on the CMSD side of the house, along with True to You, and handling everything pretty much with our teachers, our students, our administrators. And one of the great tasks that I have, the pleasure of coordinating and planning, are the out of school experiences. So what is the out of school experience, you might ask? Well, ba -dum -bum, here it is. The out of school experience is designed to broaden our students' awareness by a day long, taking them on a day long field trip to visit both a local business or organization and then also a local college campus or university. And the whole intent of the out of school experience is truly to broaden their awareness of the potential careers that exist in Northeast Ohio, as well as the post-secondary options that are available to them as well. And we know that with Say Yes, there are a ton of options that they now have, right? Awesome. So with the out of school experience, this is pretty much how it's structured. This year, we're gonna kick off as of March 2nd, and we're gonna go all the way on through May 20th of 2020, okay? All of our field trips run this span of time. So all schools only go on one day long field trip again to visit both the lo local business or organization and then also a local college campus or university. Many times we also go beyond because we do have organizational partners who host our students from as far as Eastern Michigan University, Central State University, University of Toledo, Youngstown State, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. When they are out in the field, they're typically spending 90 minutes at the business or organization in the morning. And then that same afternoon, they will go on to visit a local college campus or university where they're actually spending about two hours from start to finish on campus. So it is truly a, a day long field experience for these students and scholars. Okay. What are they doing when they're out in the field? Well, this is an example of a sample agenda, okay, of what they may be going throughout the day. So they'll visit the business or organization and they'll go through an organizational overview, who they are, what they do, how and what their place is in our community. They'll also likely take place um, by going on a facility or campus tour, which is really fun. We love when our organizations host some type of demonstration or hands-on experience for our students that is very engaging and brings the industry or the career to life, okay? And then a lot of our organizations will put on a staff panel discussion, which is really fun and enlightening for our students because they'll have individuals at all different walks of the organization share their personal stories to showcase their diversity of careers and the particular career or educational pathway that they had taken to get into that particular job, industry, or organization, okay? This is where we ask for your help. Yay, okay, so we definitely need your help. We have a ton of partners who've worked with us throughout the past four years in hosting our students for the out of school experience. So we definitely are looking for more organizations to partner with. As you all know, many of you are probably at one of the 65 schools within the district, okay? So we need about 65 organizations, 65 colleges, if that makes sense, to host our students, okay? Especially if we're looking at that one-to-one -one ratio. Many of our organizational partners and hosts host our students more than once. So that's a really great partnership that we've de developed for our scholars throughout the year. So you can certainly be a part of that. A lot of the organizations are really big on focusing on community outreach and involvement for their employees. And this is a really great way to highlight your organization in doing that. So on your tables, you all have a table or grid that you might see that has the out of school experience community outreach which is a form that asks for your suggestions of various organizations. It may be your own, it may be others that you might uh, work with very closely, or other organizations that you may have thought of that would say, hey, this would be a great place for our scholars to visit and learn about, again, the various careers, the career industry, and also that organization as well. So if you can think and join us in thinking of different organizations that might be a great fit for the out of school experience, we would love your suggestions just go ahead and jot down the organization name as well as um, any contact information. So if you know someone within the organization, 
All I need is a name. I could find out a, a number. I'm pretty good at doing my own little research, okay? So a lot of times it's really great just to have an in from someone who might be a part and associated with a True to You program who could certainly leverage that relationship for me. So do I have any questions? I see some hands up. Okay, first. How far are you willing to go? Sure. So we have gone as far as Central State University, which is about a three and a half hour commute. We've gone to Eastern Michigan University again, which is about a three hour commute as well. Ah, there you go. Um, we have actually gone to the Ohio State University. So we are pretty um, able to span out. Um, it, again, it just depends on the availability of the organizational hosts who decide to partner with us and come on board. So if we do have a school that's willing to host um, or an organization that's willing to host our scholars, then we will definitely by all costs try our very best to send them there. Yes. It is not, but I, I do believe that there is a series of field trips that they may go on, but this is not the same. So this is completely separate. Yes. Yes. Can you host more than one school per day? So if you have an 18th, will it be multiple students? Oh, absolutely. So keeping in mind, our class sizes range from anywhere between 14 students on to 90. Okay, so this is a day long field trip for the school for the entire eighth grade class. So the entire eighth grade class will be going to NASA. They will be going on to visit Lubrizol. They will be going on to visit Youngstown State University. Okay, so a lot of times the way that we kind of work around that are the, the groups, the larger groups are split into smaller groups. So a lot of our organizational partners, again, I talk to them directly and let them know again what it is that we're looking for so that they are not intimidated by a class size of 90. Of course, we reach out to all of our organizations and ask them of their parameters and their capacity to accommodate our students. So I'm not going to send a class size of 90 at Campus International to Medical Mutual who could only host about 50. Okay, so that there is a complete matchmaking process um, in which we gather information not only from our schools, but we also gather information from our organizations as well, businesses and colleges alike, to ask them of their capacity to host our students. Okay, so there is a tremendous matchmaking process that I handle. Any more questions? Yes, Heather. Yes, so, so there is, um, in short, a one-page um, request or ask that we do send to our colleges and, um, and organizational partners that we can forward on to anyone who wishes to send along to an organization that they might have in mind. We do have that, yes. Yes, yes, and I do have business cards. I'll have my business cards as well. Any other questions? Okay, great questions thus far. So this is just a quick slide of all of the different organizational partners, or not even all of them. This is just a, a small portion, actually, of that we've you know, worked with in the past um, that have certainly kept up with True to You and hosting our students for the out-of-school experience. And we certainly hope to see those same faces and spaces this particular school year. And just a few photos as well. So it's a really fun and engaging experience for all of our scholars. Um, you know, we have a lot of fun with it. Again, we are a big group of K through eight schools and we have a total of 65 schools. So the more, the merrier organizations that we have on board. And we're certainly looking to expose our scholars to different careers in, in the various industries. So if I don't have any more questions, I think that that's my time. Did I do good? Perfect, awesome. All right, well, enjoy the rest of your afternoon and your round one workshops. Thank you.